What's going on YouTube? We're back at it for another video and today we're going to be talking about the Scorch. One of the best guns inside of the game and definitely worth every bit of the grind to get all those war medals to make it all the way to the last page of that free war bond and unlock this weapon. One of the few that also basically rivals that of the Breaker and outshines it 100% when it comes to facing off with the Automatons. And just about every other gun in the game with facing off with the automatons for a few simple reasons that we'll get to here in a bit. Now, like any weapon in this game, there is going to be a few drawbacks and only a slight few, but one that is extremely detrimental to yourself. Now, obviously, we wish this had a bit more when it came to the magazine size and a bit more magazines to it, and you can burn through this ammo almost quite literally considering it is superheated gas, but it feels just like the breaker in certain instances where you will be stuck on reload quite often in certain moments. But on top of that, we also have explosive rounds with this that does cause splash damage, and it only takes one round to find yourself back in that pod dropping back into the field. This is the only reason I'm not a big fan of using this against the Terminid. It may not be the strongest when it comes to crowd control, but it does have the capability of having that splash damage, so it does make it a bit easier to deal with some of those crowds, but the biggest issue is when you're getting bum rushed by more than a few of them and you get that instinctual moment to start pulling that trigger and taking them out not realizing they're a bit too close and then next thing you know that's the last time you get to pull that trigger now it can still be useful when facing off with the terminid it does have quite a bit of damage to it it is explosive damage so you will be able to hit those weak spots and it does have medium armor penetration but it will not be as damaging as some of the other weapons that do have penetration this one doesn't have quite as much penetration so in instances when you're facing off with the bloaty bugs that have the medium armor that are the acid green variant you may be better off just hitting that weak spot on the side as it'll give you an amplified amount of damage and take less rounds in order to take that enemy down now it still can be a bit finicky in certain moments i feel like the hitbox on that weak spot of that enemy type is uh it's a bit strange it feels like it's a, a tiny little line and it's not the full radius of where you see those green spots on the side of it it's a bit frustrating in my personal opinion but if you're uh wanting to clear them out the fastest way possible, I would highly suggest just using grenades. But typically with this weapon, if I am facing off with the Terminid, I like to throw this on with a jump pack, and that way I can get up to locations where the bugs find it a little bit more difficult to climb up on top of. That way, if I do find one of those smaller bugs coming up to face off with me, I can quickly switch to my secondary weapon and take them out without having that moment where I'm completely overwhelmed with the large variety of smaller bugs that may be descending upon me. And at that same point, it does give you the capability of utilizing the range with this weapon and providing a bit of overwatch for your teammates and you may end up being able to take out quite a few chargers with this one with this kind of play style as if you're able to land shots on the inside of the legs you'll be able to take out some of these chargers really quickly even within one to two magazines and you can also blow off the uh the sacks underneath that bile titan decreasing its health by quite a bit and just making that bile titan a little bit easier to take down as you move through now where the scorcher really shines is facing off with the automatons as this weapon is going to be quite useful against every variety type of enemy besides the mortar emplacements the anti-aircraft emplacements and the gatling laser tank sadly enough these three things cannot be destroyed or damaged by this weapon but we'll get to why those are meaningful here in a moment now humanoid bots may take more than one round in certain instances so you will want to aim high and make sure that you're hitting their head so you're getting that weak spot damage or at least somewhere in the chest so it does have that splash damage toward the head that way you will get that one shot capability but at the same time a quality of life moment where this just makes things so much smoother as you'll be able to cut through those packs like butter considering if you're shooting one of those Star Wars walkers you won't have to get to the side of them or pop out a grenade you'll be able to just shoot them in the legs and knock them over and not have to worry about those anymore this makes it so much easier at pushing through those crowds like that there's so many instances where I've had that irritating moment where I've had no grenades and I've had to run along the side of that dealing with the devastators in the back or having to push around these and ending up taking quite a bit of damage and it just gets to be a bit frustrating so being able to take those out with just the primary weapon is so much more satisfying and makes things a whole lot easier. And on that same note, it can be devastating against the Devastators, but sadly enough, we will not get the same stun lock power that we get with that of the Slugger. But if you do land those headshots with this weapon from a distance, it can take them out within less than half a mag. And on top of that, hitting the weak spots on the back of Hulks in less than a magazine you'll be able to take them down fairly quickly. But sadly enough, I will say that shooting them in the face with a railgun is still a lot quicker, as even if you do blow off that back weak spot, it will be 
a few seconds later before they finally implode so they'll still be able to deal damage in those moments but if you don't have ammo for your railgun this can be a close second to take them down as quickly as possible in the instance where you don't have something else available to take them down. Now one thing that some people may not know about the Scorcher, which I know few people in my chat had no idea this is something that the Scorcher was capable of, is you can take down cannon turrets and heavily armored tanks by shooting an entire magazine into their weak spots. Now you will have to land all 15 of the shots in order to blow up either one of these, but this can be invaluable in certain moments. Heavy, heavily armored tanks and those cannon turrets can be absolutely frustrating to deal with in certain instances and if you have stratagems on cooldown or you possibly have no grenades this is going to be a perfect backup as there's pretty much only one other primary weapon i can think of that would be able to deal damage to these back weak spots and that's going to be the slugger i think the liberator penetrator can possibly do damage to it but it has such a low amount of damage it would take far too long to get that done and it takes way too long to get it done with that of the slugger but with just one magazine from the scorcher you could take that heavily armored tank down and that cannon turret and this has been so satisfying in so many different instances i love being able to just take down those cannon turrets as they have sniped me one too many times from 150 meters away just sniping me even from the tree line, Malevolon Creek, any other jungle, any other map, I can't stand it when I'm just literally running and pushing some of those enemies and then next thing I know, out of nowhere, I'm just blown to bits. But sadly enough, for whatever reason, when it comes to the laser tank and the mortar emplacement along with the anti-aircraft emplacement, their back weak spot is some type of different type of armor or they've done something to where... It basically can't be countered by explosive damage other than grenades. It's very confusing to me that the, the Scorcher is going to be able to take down the heavily armored tank and that of the cannon turret, but the back weak spot on these emplacements and the lighter armored tank or less devastating tank is too tough in order for this to actually deal damage to it, which is weird to me. But if anybody knows of any other weapon that may be able to punch through that, I have not found anything other than grenades and stratagems being capable of taking them down other than that of something like the railgun as well. So in those moments, it can be frustrating where I wish that the Scorcher had the same capability that it does with the heavily armored tank and that of the cannon turret to be able to take those out as long as I'm hitting the weak spot in the back. But that's going to be it right there, guys. That's going to be... Uh that's going to be the Scorcher, pretty much one of the best guns inside of the game right now besides the Breaker. Those two are basically tied for the top, but when it comes to facing off with the Automatons, there is just no better than this weapon right now before we get anything new in the coming future. At this point, I would say this is one of the top primaries unless you're looking for that crowd control and power when it comes to facing off with the Terminant as you will be fearful of your own shots when it comes to anything pressing up too close to you, but if you can keep the distance, it's going to work out perfectly fine for you. But if you'd like this content and you'd like to see more, hit that subscribe button, and if you'd like to see some of this content live, hit that link down in the description. Follow me over at Twitch. We'll be streaming daily. And on that note, hopefully this has helped you out, and have a good one.